to a swatting case making national headlines. It's called swatting. Swatting prank. Recently went through what's called swatting. Swatting. The action or practice of making a prank call to emergency services in an attempt to bring about the dispatch of a large number of armed police officers to a particular address. I'm on one with emergency. Uh, hi, yes. My name is Joseph. Um, I work for and we just got an order to come through. I was just about to take the delivery. In the instructions, it says, please call 911. I do not have access to a phone. There are three men holding me hostage, and they all have AR-15. So we don't want to deliver this. We want to work to call you guys to either send cops out there or whatnot. Address? We don't know what's what going address? on. We try calling. What address? The address is And that's in what town? Uh, what town is that? That's What's your name, sir? Joseph. Joseph. What is the lady's uh, name? What's is? the name on the order? Hold on, I'll tell you right now. Uh, it says Jeff Saxton. I'm sorry, the name, first name again? Jeff, G-E-F-F, -G -E and then his last name is Saxton, S-A-X-T-O-N. Okay, hold on the phone for me. All right. Hello? Yeah, I'm here, hold on. Okay. Yeah, Lacey, Ocean County. I have Joseph on the phone, he's an employee for... They received a uh, automatic text for an order, but it was not an order for pizza. It's an order for police to go, I guess, for a residential check. At uh, subject Jeff Saxton was the name put forth on the account, stating he's being held hostage by three subjects with automatic weapons. All right. And your caller, Joseph, is an employee on the phone now. Okay. Yes. All right. Well, uh, we'll give, give a little response over there. Okay. Thank you. Thank All right. Okay. What you just heard was the actual 911 audio from the night that I got swatted. Now, this is the first time I'm really actually going to talk about it. I don't know how much I can say, uh, just due to the fact that it is currently under investigation. And also, I still get like the chills and I get scared whenever I think about it or talk about it. As many of you guys know, I recently took a dive into streaming full time over on Twitch, and it's something that I personally really enjoy. I have a great time doing. I get to communicate with you guys and in real time and it's fun you know i get to play video games i could just do just chatting and the most important thing is i get to interact with you guys whether you're having a great day or a bad day and i could try making your day even better no matter what and then somebody had the audacity to try putting me and my family in harm's way by swatting us which just isn't right because all i want to do is just try to make people happy and if somebody's that miserable in their life that their enjoyment is trying to make other people suffer that person needs serious help i also feel like people don't know for like when they are caught the the actual punishments that they can face like in the state of new jersey it's a minimum of five years in federal prison for swatting somebody so yeah on uh september 22nd 2020 i was streaming over on twitch and i was having a great time i was playing some game with viewers and we were just enjoying ourselves, and it was like 1 a.m all of a sudden i hear a knock on my bedroom door and it was my stepdad saying Jeffrey you need to come down here okay so hey guys I gotta go I'll uh, I'll catch you guys later uh, the stream's gotta end so as you guys just saw in that clip I turn around I look I'm like oh it's 1 a.m why are you calling me downstairs my first thought is thinking like hey somebody just probably passed away let me end the stream uh, so I don't come back up to my room in tears, whatever, because it's not normal for both my parents to still be up or any of my parents to be up that late in general and to especially come to my room and say, hey, you got to come downstairs. The only times I've ever had that happen in my life besides the night I got swatted was anytime somebody in my family passed away and we found out very late and they didn't want us to find out over social media, which honestly, I, I really respect my parents for always telling us when they find out. So after my stepdad said, hey, you gotta come downstairs and all that, I quickly ended my stream thinking that somebody passed away. And uh, I started leaving my room and I hear my mom start yelling, do you have a warrant for your arrest? I'm thinking to myself, why would I have a warrant? I I never tried doing anything wrong in general. I, I'm probably one of the most innocent people you'll ever meet. Like if somebody needs my shirt right now, like that's by me or whatever, I will give them the shirt off my back. Like I'm a volunteer firefighter. I, I try doing what's right, not for me, but for the people around me and the people in my community. And I'm like, why would I have a warrant for my arrest mom? That makes no sense at all. And uh, she's like, there's four cops out here looking for you right now. And I'm thinking to myself, why are there four cops? So I go downstairs and I, I see there's two police officers 
right in the front of my house. And they have, like, their hands on the, their side, you know, because they don't know. And these guys, I work with on fire calls here and there, and these are newer police officers in our town, you know, they literally just started the job probably within the last few years, so we didn't get to have as much experiences and talks, whatever, on calls. But I, I go downstairs and I see there's these two right in front of me, and then there's two police officers in my driveway, and I'm like, whoa, and it instantly kicks in that like, yo, I am being swatting because something odd happened when I was in the middle of my stream, um, I got some kind of random order sent to my business email and I just brushed it off. I thought a fan was using my business email uh, in a way to like have an email address to use. I should have opened up that email because I would have found there was a lot of important information that I needed, such as my name and my address being used. So I'm downstairs, I'm talking with the police officers and they're telling me like, hey, uh, we got a 911 call, as you guys heard from the audio before, of a uh, report that you're being held hostage by three people with automatic weapons. And I look at them, I'm like, does it look like I'm being held hostage? Like, I know they have to do their job. I have the most utmost respect for my local law enforcement and law enforcement in general. I know we live in 2020, everybody likes to, to poop on police, whatever, but everybody doesn't realize like, yo, you have a few bad apples in every profession. It doesn't matter if you're a police officer or you're a military fire, whatever, whatever it is in the world, right? Or even doctors, whatever. You have a few bad apples out there and it makes like the whole entire hole look bad. But like, I know the police in my town are very respectful and respect goes a long way for both sides. If you give respect to one, you'll get respect back to you. So we started talking, we talk about me reportedly being held hostage and I tell him about this strange email that I just got like 20 something minutes prior. And while we're like talking about it, it finally clicked to me, I was like, yo guys, I'm being swatted. Um, I don't know if you guys know what that means, but, and then I went into the whole entire thing of telling them like, yo, what swatting is, is basically when somebody makes a fake call to put whoever is um, being swatted in harm's way for a fake rise of uh, getting the police to respond there. To me, it's like not cool because, you know, people mess with me, whatever. But when you do something that's gonna like affect my family, that's my big problem because like my family means everything to me. Like I have my niece and nephew living with us right now and if something happened to them, I would honestly be crushed because like they're my whole entire world. They literally are and they mean the absolute world to me. And knowing that like somebody sent the police to my house as a joke or a prank to do whatever, it's kind of messed up. Like I'm lucky like the police didn't come kicking in my door and, you know, started waking everybody up because like it would have never been good in general. Like somebody probably would have got hurt or killed in my house because of some idiot making a fake 911 call. And now like when the police are sitting next to my house doing traffic radar, the first thing I think is like, yo, am I being swatted again? And there's a few times where I've gone outside, I approached the officer like, yo, hey, what's up, man? What are you guys doing? And like, oh, no, we're just running radar. It's nothing with you. And I'm like, all right, thank God. Because for me, it makes me scared of the people I'm supposed to trust the most and the people that I have the most up, the utmost respect for. And it's not fair. And literally my mom now gets scared when they're sitting next to our house running radar. And it's not fair for her. And it's not fair for any of us that we have to think like anytime there's a police officer by our house like hey are we being swatted are we going to be put in harm's way again like that night when the cops were here and they were talking to me like i was shaking I, i'm not gonna lie i was scared right and these are the people that like i've worked with here and there on fire calls and stuff and you know next thing you know like my mom like when she she sat down on the front step and she literally like almost had a heart attack like no kidding like the day i get the body cam footage and i can show you guys like everything that actually happened downstairs with audio and stuff like i feel bad for my poor mother because my mom doesn't deserve this like my mom doesn't deserve to think like hey like did something happen to one of my kids when she answered the door or is like what what's happening to my son jeffrey my mom doesn't deserve that kind of pain a lot of you guys know the things me and my family's already been through we don't need more bs to add on top of it just in general swatting ain't cool like people don't realize like not only are you putting somebody's life in danger that the police are responding to but you're putting the police lives in danger you're putting other people on the road lives in danger because like you never know and it's just at the end of the day it's just not cool i just want to make this video real quick to kind of show you guys like how i felt and 
it, it took me honestly a month to talk about this to really try opening up to talk about it and honestly i still can't fully open up and talk about it without either being angry or being sad because nobody should have to go through this i just want to say thank you to the people that reached out over to twitter when i put the tweet out and send support and love because it does mean a lot to me and my family you guys you guys mean a lot to us um if you guys enjoyed the video do me a favor just hit that like button hit subscribe and uh, i'll catch you guys next time peace